Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're having Greek. So we have a uh, pork gyro pita, chicken gyro pita. We have a couple of the sticks here. Slovakia sticks? Yeah. Um, we have Greek fries, regular fries, baklava, and spin dessert of the spinac day. No, no, no. They oh, didn't have it. Oh, they didn't yeah. have that? Okay. That's a spinaco pita, which is a spinach and feta. Have you tried these though? Well, I, like, I always have this. Like, oh, really? Yeah, like when I used to go downtown a lot, yeah. I found a place and it's so good. And obviously when I want to eat it, I have to go all the way downtown. Yeah. So it kind of sucks, right? But you found this. Place. But I found one like five minutes away from my house, which is amazing. And it's honestly, this one's better. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Excited. Let's go. Yeah. So I'm super excited. Uh, also, we're, we usually drink something like, what do we usually drink? Pop? Coffee. Yeah, usually drink pop. Like we really like zero calorie drinks because we honestly eat a lot of our calories. We yeah. rather eat our calories than drink our calories. So we're actually trying something different today. So Air Up uh, actually sent us two sample bottles to try out and do a review on. And this is basically, uh, from my understanding, it's like a system they have where it changes the flavor of the water by placing a pot on the top. Yeah. So basically, you just pour regular water yeah. or carbonated water, and when you sip it, it's supposed to taste like. Whatever pod you put. So I yeah. think I put um, raspberry lemon. lemon. I think so. Mine's not done yet because I wanted to show you guys. So this is just the bottle itself with water, and then what they do is they send you doo -doo -doo, these guys, the pods, and there's three in a pack, and each one apparently um, lasts about five liters of water, right? Mm. So I'm gonna put in the mango passion fruit. You guys can see that. Okay, cool. So it's like, you're gonna have to wait. Sorry. Yeah, all good. And boom. Oh, it smells nice. That smells nice. Yeah, it smells really good. All right, so it looks like this. Kind of reminds me of um, those uh, Thai pods. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But here you go. So that's a pod. It smells like the Trident gum. You know, the really young mm, flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that smells strong. So then you're supposed to match. There's a pointy part on the pot and the bottle. So you're supposed to push this down and match that pointy part oh what, what does it say here this side uh, down, this side down. Yeah. okay so you're supposed to push it down and there's two functions so one is if you just want to drink uh water and no flavor you push it all the way down so and then you take a sip yeah so just regular water the second part is if you pull it up to the line over here that's how you activate the do flavor it, do I have it right you do yeah okay. so now let's try it it's the first time right, ever cheers all right, and we'll go. honestly give you our honest review. Okay. It does. That's a kind it's of kind of working. It's kind of freaky. So how it feels is when you push it down, it's just regular water. It feels like you're just sipping water from a bottle. But when you pull it up, the straw, like the flow of the water changes to like almost like a bubbly feeling and then the scent comes out so it's tricking your dude. mind yeah it's tricking your mind <laughs> to think that it's flavor water when it's not dude the more you drink it the yeah. more the stronger it gets because like the first sip i'm like no it's just water but then as i'm going <laughs> dude it's mine tastes like bubble gum <laughs> mm. oh also sorry so i think i'm doing it wrong when you drink it you're not supposed to tilt the bottle which i was doing so you're supposed to just sip it like Dude, mm. I'm I'm really surprised. I'm shocked. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, like, like when, when Michael told me about it, I'm like, I, I don't think it's gonna work. But I'm actually excited to like put carbonated water, and I think they have um like Coke flavors too, right? Oh, they have a lot. So based yeah. on where you are, um, like they have different types of bottles. I think there was like a metallic one that was pretty cool. Yeah. Like the bottle and then different flavor pods. So this is actually pretty cool. So if you're interested, check their site. Oh, we'll put it in the description below. Yeah. Let's All right, get let's to eat. eating. Let's just simple. got some ketchup, got some uh, tzatziki. Mm. Have some fries first. I'm excited. I want to try this first. Greek fries? Oh, yeah. Maybe we should have some fork. But... Mm. Mm. You like it? Honestly, I don't usually like feta cheese. It's not, like, it's not that flavorful. Hmm. But I guess it's not supposed to be, just something light, right? Mm. But... Try. 
Hm. Na mal. Die Cold Punch. Oh, look at this. I like Feta. Hmm. But it's not as flavorful. Like, yeah. It looks. It's more toned down than, yeah, I, yeah. than I thought. I thought it was going to be like boom. Hmm. 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 Pork. Pork. Chicken. Hmm. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. <clears throat> Mm. Excited for this one. I love skewers, mm -hmm. but I usually don't get it. <clears throat> so expensive. Mm. Mm. Really like this sauce. Mm. Really like this sauce. What do you usually like more, chicken or pork? Mm. I wish I used to get chicken. Mm. So I've had these Euro wraps a few times. Yeah. And I generally always get chicken. Mm. I don't know why. What about you? I think I like the pork more. Mm? Yeah. What's your main thing when you go to a Greek place? Yeah, same. But I know they have like these Euro platters. Mm -hmm. I, I sometimes get that too. Mm -hmm. But I usually get Greek from like Mr. Greek. That's mm -hmm. the only place that I was aware of, right? Mm -hmm. sure. I usually like the shaved gyros too. Mm. Is it a big rotating one? Yeah. And then they shave it onto a wrap yeah. or something? Yeah, that one's good. I don't even know what meat it is. But it's just good. It's, it's always so juicy. And mm. it cooks it as you mm -hmm. slice it. I want to try the. I know we're finishing the skewers, but... <clears throat> Not great food. This is one of the uh, subs recommendations. Yeah, we actually been wanting to do Greek for a while now. I think since uh, the beginning. Yeah. yeah, it was actually supposed to be one of our first videos, mm. and like we just got caught up with everything else. Mm. But I'm glad we we finally get to have this. Yeah. All right, time for show recommendations, mm. or like movie recommendations. What you watch recently? Hmm. I'm re-watching re a really old show. What's up? Breaking Bad. Mmm. <laughs> never watched it, right? Honestly, when that show was hype, mm. everyone was talking about it. And I, f I feel like I was the only person that didn't see it. I actually didn't watch it until the whole series was done. Yeah, that's better too, right? Yeah. How many episodes are there? Five seasons, maybe like 15 episodes each. Mmm. Yeah. It's not that bad. Mm. Yeah, but it's, the bad. show's amazing. I, I still, like, I gotta catch up on that. I've never seen it. So ba basically, it's about a high school teacher. He's a chemist, right? He's a mm -hmm. chemistry teacher. Mm -hmm. And, like, his job doesn't pay well. Like, his family's, his kid is, like, he's, he has uh, cerebral palsy. Okay. So he has like speech impediment and like he can't walk, his legs don't really work properly. Oh no. So it's hard, right? Oh. Um, especially in America because like healthcare and stuff. And yeah, he finds out expensive. he has yeah, he finds out he has cancer. Dude, that's so hard. so it's gonna be like hundreds of thousands of dollars, they can't afford it. Yeah. So he's like, you know what, like what can I do to make money? Yeah. And he's like, I'm a chemist, let me <laughs> make drugs. Oh right. So then At school? No. Oh, okay, because I'm like no, but like he oh, steals all the stuff from school, like all the materials that and he stuff. needs. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah, and then um, yeah, he cooks it, and the very first time he cooks it, it's like the best stuff. Yeah, so it's like better than anything on the market. So he's like, okay, like maybe I could actually make money. Yeah, like yeah. do this. That's crazy. Yeah, and it just goes on from there. But yeah, honestly, if you haven't watched it, watch it. Yeah, well, does yeah. it get like? Does he get caught? Uh, you'll see. This is so weird. Yeah. But uh, Kian, don't watch it, okay? That's my nephew. You're, you're too young. Yeah. Watch the good good stuff, not not the um, mm -hmm. these type of shows. 
That's crazy though. Like, so he just makes it in his like at home. Mm mm. So he has. He has a um. An ex student, mm. or like his past student. Yeah, and he's like a drug dealer, and he's oh, like, oh, of course, he like he's a cook as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this. Holy but the stuff that Walter White, the main character, like yeah. the older guy, like his stuff is just like miles above. Oh wow. Yeah. Dude, how do you even eat this? Like, uh, open that mouth. Hmm. Yeah, fries in here. Mm-hmm. Mm. Dude, this sauce is like really good. <laughs> There's really sauce inside it. Mm. Um, <clears throat> what else have I watched? Yeah. <laughs> Love is Blind. Do you know that show? No. It sounds so familiar. Everything you say, it's familiar, but I feel like I never clicked into it. Tell me about it. Is it like a show or a movie? Show. Okay. English show? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Originally English, but then there's like Love is Blind Japan, Love is Blind um, oh. Brazil. Yeah. It's a Netflix show. Mm. Uh, food. Mm. Basically, it's like Ten guys, ten girls, they go into, like, a house. Another one of those? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. You I love, love those stupid reality shows, you know? Mm. I don't even know if it's real, but whatever. I like I like to watch it. Um, And they go into, like, different rooms. And it's, like, blind dates. Mm. And then, so if you want to go on another blind date, you just keep on going on blind dates. Yeah. And at the end of it, you either get proposed to yeah. or you don't get proposed to. Okay. But you don't see them. Oh, ever? Not yet. So you're just, like, surprised. So then, once you're like, okay, yes, I'll marry you, then they meet oh my afterwards. God. Wait, you can't back out? You can back out. You can back out. Oh, yeah. no. Sorry, wrong person. That's hilarious. <clears throat> yeah. There's already, there's three seasons, and a few people got married first season, second season, mm. but this third season, everyone already got divorced from season one and season two. No way. Yeah. Hey, you can't, like, they're just going for the show, right? Yeah. That's hilarious. Mm-hmm. I wonder if it's like that. Wait. So I wonder if it's like that for all the different mm-hmm. Love is Blind countries. Mm-hmm. Because like, maybe like Love is Blind Japan, they didn't get divorced. Oh, maybe. Right, you know, things yeah, like that. Yeah. So. I actually watched Love is Blind Japan too. <laughs> <laughs> Which one was better? Probably the American one. Really? Yeah, because they're, like, crazier, right? Mm. And, like, more rowdy and, like, they'll show, mo- show more stuff. Mm. Or, like, them, like, kissing and all that stuff. Whereas, like, Japan and, like, Asian culture were more reserved. It's, like, hold- yeah. holding hands. It's oh, like, my God. Yeah, so you kiss on the cheek, you're like, oh! <gasps> Such a big deal. It's so funny you borrow, like, like dating shows. Mm. I randomly came across this one. On YouTube, and it was actually a reaction video from somebody else. Okay. I can't remember who it was. Hmm. But it's about, I don't know if you ever heard it, but th- I think it's called The Button. Mm-hmm. So basically, it's like, you're blindfolded. Okay. A guy and a girl walks into a room, sits in front of a table. In the middle of that table, there's a button. So while while you are uh, talking and chit-chatting, mm-hmm. sometimes the button will like, it's not a person. It's just like the voice comes out, right? Mm-hmm. And it goes like... Oh, this person does this, or this person knows about this, right? Why mm. don't you ask this person this, right? Mm. Excuse me. So then it kind of like raises the topic between the two. Mm. But at, at certain moments, the button will light up mm. and it'll make a sound. When you hear that sound, you can click it or press it to eliminate the other person mm. if you don't like them. But you don't know how they look like. You don't know anything. So it's just like hilarious because that video was um, and whoever gets eliminated, it's sent back to their room. With all the boys. And so he can tell them like, oh, she didn't like me because blah, 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 uh-huh. blah. Right? And same with the girls. There's a mm. room full of girls. So it's hilarious. The one I watched, it was um, this, it got to this Asian dude. Yeah. And he literally, like, it wasn't even like slick. It was so obvious where he was like, hey, how's it going? Can I hug you? Uh-huh. Just to see if the other person is fat. 
Mm. And like he will hug really tightly to see. Mm-hmm. And after a while, he'll like press the button and be like, "Oh no, we didn't we didn't get along because of the vibe or whatever." <laughs> and then like after a while, he'll the next girl he'll be like chatting with her and be like, "Oh, do you mind if I get a hug?" Mm-hmm. And it's just like hug again. It's like, "Oh, I eliminate you." Mm-hmm. And it's just hilarious because like, it's kind of rude. You know what I mean? It's shallow. Yeah, it's shallow. And then I remember one guy was like, uh, "Sorry, the girl girls like." Oh, do you work out? Blah blah blah. Do you go to the gym? I mm. like somebody who's fit. He's mm. like, he's like, yeah, I do. I feel my arms. Blah blah blah. And she feels it, but they're blindfolded. Uh-huh. <laughs> and after when they when when you agree to see each other, you mm. can take your blindfold mm. off, but they still give you the chance to eliminate the other person. Okay. So mm. then they took their blindfolds off, and she was like, oh. like so fast because <laughs> she was like, you're not who I thought you were. Oh, right. So obviously you're imagining someone who's mm. like different, but it's just so funny because the button sometimes. Kind of like starts crap. Yeah. Kind of starts crap. It's like, oh, so this person does this or this person does that. It's like, why don't you ask them about this? Like, ask them what turns you on. Mm-hmm. And it's like just a, such an awkward conversation. Mm-hmm. Right? But it, it's that's why it's so funny. <laughs> but yeah, the Asian guy is like, can I hug you? I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> don't do not eliminate her based on that. <clears throat> I think I've seen clips of that. Yeah, probably. It's on YouTube? Mm. Freaking hilarious. It's really like KSI and stuff, right? I don't know. I'm not sure. Hmm. I got my euros, like, literally. How are you eating? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, those shows are fun. Hmm. Because... I feel like you get to be an asshole without actually being an <clears throat> asshole. Yeah. You're just like, you get to see people be who they are or how they react. Mm. It's like, uh, it's like kind of cringy, but you don't need to go through it, right? Mm. I don't remember if I told you. I yeah. also watched a show called The Mole. Did I tell you that? I saw I that on I Netflix. Did. It was about, it's about figuring out who The Mole is, like a game, mm-hmm. two groups. Mm-hmm. I, w- I was going to watch that, but I never clicked into it. I was thinking, but then I was like, oh, let me watch something it's else. Not, it's not always two groups. Oh, really? But it's just like, there's one mole. Basically, mm. there's like activities that you have to do and like mm. games you have to play. Mm. Mm. And then the mole is trying to like sabotage, mm. but like not to the point where it's too obvious, right? And then at the end of the uh, end of the day, they vote. Or like they have to well, they an- answer like a question. Yeah. A questionnaire um, about the mole. Like, let's say it's a guy and he's wearing, like, a black shirt that day with, like, glasses, mm. right? And it's like, you have to answer. It's like, oh, is it a guy or a girl? Did they wear glasses or not? And if you get, if you're the person that gets the most wrong, then you get eliminated. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Wait, it's not, because I've never seen this, so I might be confusing it with something else. Huh. But is that the one with the button? Was there a button where you can click on it? And then if you don't, if you don't click on it, you get 10 grand? Or something, and then it might be a different one. But it was, I swear it was a mole, but maybe it was something else. Maybe, maybe or that maybe was a, that was one episode. Yeah, maybe that yeah. was one episode. Yeah. That sounds cool. Mm. But what does a mole get? Mm-hmm. Just sabotage people. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. You're just like an employee of the show, basically, right? Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna try this. That's just a piece of bread. Let me check. Is it piece of bread or is it car? Ooh! Hey, no piece of bread. There it is. <laughs> I put it. So it came, they gave us this on the side. I thought it was garlic bread, but I'm still gonna eat it. It is. There's something inside. Yeah, but it's maybe just butter. Oh. I'm not sure. Want some of this with it? No. Good, thank you. With the sauce, you eat anything. Hmm. I watched this other movie. What movie? Called Under Underground Six or something. Oh. Ryan Reynolds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So <laughs> it's about like you have you seen it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's about like pretty simple plot. He's a billionaire, uh, pretended like he died, 
and he funds this group of um specialists like some are really good at killing some are mm. good at driving and stuff so he forms his own team of six people and they don't know each other's names it's just one to six and then um they go and assassinate people that are causing problems for the world mm. right so that's pretty cool mm. and yeah just a lot of action well <clears throat> remember not being that good it's pretty good i feel like his really? movies are his movies are generally pretty relaxing a lot of action for that one, for sure. Mm. Um, yeah, it's like because I like those heist, you know, these mm. these mission type of movies. Mm. Obviously, not stealing, but they're killing someone. Right? Mm. You know what I'm excited for? What? <clears throat> Deadpool three. Oh, mm. when is it coming out? I think a long time. Well, like two years. But do you know who's coming back for it? Wolverine. No yeah. way. Hugh Jackman. No way. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so sick. Hey, eat some fries. I feel like I'm eating all I this. I would love this one. Oh, okay, okay, fine. You take care of that. I'll take care of this. Mm. How's that? Oh, if you guys are into animes, dude. Mm. If you guys are into animes, you have to watch Chainsaw Man. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Like, it hasn't even started. Like, it's already really good. But I don't want to spoil it. It's just this guy who... Um, I mean, like, it's pretty obvious, like, Chainsaw Man, right? He turns into a chainsaw monster or demon. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. So good. Yeah, I think there's only, like, three episodes. Four now. Four now? Yeah, four. It comes out every Tuesday, so the fourth mm. one came out yesterday. But, um... Is it here or do I smell apple? That's probably your thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, do we have an apple pie somewhere? Well, maybe that one. <clears throat> That's all. I think it's like... No, I see apples. Or the almonds. Yeah, it's probably almonds. Oh. Or pecans or something. Yeah, yeah. So, mm. soon as, um... Spinach and feta? Yeah. We'll try it. Yeah. Oh. We've never had this. Hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Mm, that's good. Dude, this just trips me out every time I drink it. Yeah, I know. Alright. It's time. Very nice. Smells good. Mmm. It's like, it's just spinach dip, basically. Kind of, right? I never really eat spinach dip. Mm hmm? Yeah. Is it good? Mmm. Spinach dip with um those uh, pita breads. Mmm. From those restaurants? No, this is better than pita bread. Mmm. Reminds me of a patty. A little bit. Yeah. Oh. Came mm. a little bit full. Yeah, same. Wait, how does this make it here? I don't know. Yeah, you you mixed it over. That's serious. Is it hard? It feels hard. Super sweet. I see, I see the glaze. Mm. Dude, you know, a couple days ago, yeah. you sent me that uh, Jollibee special. Yeah. $20, $20 for 10 mm -hmm. I had a dream last night about Jollibee's. <laughs> that I was using that coupon. <laughs> I walked to a mall, which, like, I, I don't recognize the mall. Mm. And then, like, I walked to Jollibee's and I was, like, waiting for my special. And I'm, like, what, what do you want? And I was, like, I want the. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. The 20 for 10? Like, what 20 for 10? I'm like, <laughs> the 20 for 10 that you have. It was like, 
Dream, yeah. right? So funny. I'm craving Jolly Bees. Probably gonna get it. <laughs> oh. Whoa. That's good. I think all Ooh, the sweetness it's delicious. comes from. Yeah. It comes from the honey, which is nice. Dude, this is delicious. Mm. My God. Mmm. Pretty full. Mmm. Pretty finish it. Yeah. With ice cream? Mmm. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> you know in dreams? Mm hmm. You can never dream like all the people in your dream. Mm hmm. You've seen their face somewhere. Yeah, because you're, you you're. You can't make up a face in your dream. Unless. Unless. What? No, no, no. Unless the person that you're dreaming about has no face in the dream. Because oh. sometimes you're that individual, like you know that they exist, they're there, oh. but their face is kind of blurred. Mm. So you can't really see who they are. I never had that. Oh, really? That's me. You dream in black and white or color? Mm, I don't think I've ever dreamt in black and white. I only dream in black and white. You're weird. Huh? You're weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Wait, let us know if you guys dream in black and white or color. Because I'm color all the time. That's crazy. Now the next step is to uh, learn how to control yourself in the dream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> I like to withdraw the $50 million I have. Hmm. Finish the fries. And they say everything you dream about yeah. is the opposite. Oh, really? Well, it's supposed to be. Opposite of what it actually is. Oh, for real? That's what they say. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> You're thinking bad. Like, I dream about anything? Yeah. I wish I have a dream where I'm like in a fight. Yeah. And then... When I punch them, it's like nothing. It's yeah. like slow motion. Dude. And I hit them, it's like literally like an ant hitting them. That's when you care too much about something. Oh, really? Because when I was uh, running track and field all the time, mm. like, all I cared about was running, like mm. cross country track and field. Mm. The only dreams I would have every single day would be me trying to, like competing in a race. Yeah. And then like the minute they, sh they say go, yeah. right? I'm like, everyone's sprinting, and I'm, and I'm like, mm. I can't run, I'm yeah. flying in the air, I'm like, and I'm losing my mind. Yeah. <laughs> I'm losing my mind, I'm like, ah. Mm. Yeah. Right. So I kept thinking about it. Mm. Oh. Nice catch. Yeah. Ninja reflexes over there. <laughs> <laughs> Last bite. Mm. That was really good, huh? Wait, I have a question. Why, why is it that every single time yeah. <laughs> things start making over, making their way over to my side? <laughs> that your sauce this is your sauce. That's my sauce. No, because I just start running over. It. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Yeah, let us know what you want us to eat next. Yeah. And we'll see you next week. Take care. And what? Oh, nothing. You're gonna say and. Oh, okay, and bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. bye.